Step into the world of a 1972 TV series that brought laughter, shock, and tears. Sanford and Son, a sitcom that follows the life of Fred Sanford, a junk dealer, and his son Lamont, is a classic that's hard to forget. With humor that hits the mark and moments that tug at your heart, this show carved its place in television history. The chemistry between the characters is electric and the various roles add flavor to the series. Who was your favorite among them all? Was it the witty Fred, the ever-patient Lamont, or perhaps one of the colorful supporting characters? As you dive into the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that will have you in stitches, shocking twists that will leave you wide-eyed, and poignant scenes that might even bring a tear to your eye. So keep watching, there's much more in store. Now, we're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Get ready for a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and a touch of nostalgia. And remember, your favorite role might just be the one that steals the show. Stay tuned for more and share your memories with us. Red Fox, known for his stand-up comedy, delivered a memorable performance in the 1972 TV series Sanford and Son. The show, a remake of the British sitcom Steptoe and Son, became a classic 70s sitcom. Portraying Fred Sanford, he showcased his comedic talent alongside Demond Wilson, who played his son Lamont. The dynamic between Fred Sanford and his sister-in-law Esther, played by Lawanda Page, added a unique flavor to the series. Their love-hate relationship, depicted through witty insults, created memorable on-screen moments. The humor often centered around Fred's funny, yet bigoted character, complemented by Lamont's role as the smarter son. One recurring comedic element involved Fred's fake heart attacks, accompanied by his famous line, OHH, this is the big one. You hear that, Elizab TH, I'm coming to join you. Another catchphrase involved variations of how would you like five across your lip. These comedic elements, along with the chemistry between the characters, made the show stand out. Norman Lear's second sitcom stands as a classic in 70s television. The episodes, including memorable ones like The Gong Show and Steinberg and Son, provided entertainment that remains enjoyable today. For those yet to experience it, each season is available on DVD, allowing uninterrupted viewing without commercial interruptions. In summary, Sanford and Son, with its timeless humor and memorable characters, remains a significant part of 70s sitcom history. In a memorable moment during season two, episode 21, titled Home Sweet Home for the Aged, viewers catch a glimpse of a photograph of Elizabeth Sanford on Fred's nightstand at the nursing home. This brief display marks the singular occasion throughout the series where her likeness is revealed. Interestingly, the casting dynamics of the show underwent a pivotal shift. Originally, Cleavon Little was the producer's first choice for the role of Lamont Sanford. However, due to prior commitments, he declined the offer. Instead, he recommended Red Fox for the role of Fred Sanford and proposed Demond Wilson as Lamont, with whom he had previously worked on All in the Family. This casting recommendation reshaped the characters and set the stage for the memorable performances that followed. The theme song, widely known as The Street Beater, is a defining element of the show. Crafted by Quincy Jones, the music seamlessly blends with the narrative, enhancing the overall viewing experience. The 70s sitcom thrives on the chemistry between its characters, bringing forth humor that is both timeless and impactful. Red Fox's comedic prowess, coupled with Demond Wilson's performance, creates a dynamic interplay between father and son. The inclusion of supporting characters like Fred's sister-in-law Esther, played by Lawanda Page, adds a distinctive flavor to the series. The on-screen banter and love-hate relationship contribute to the comedic charm. Sanford and Son stands as Norman Lear's second sitcom and has secured its place in 70s television history. Episodes such as The Gong Show and Steinberg and Son continue to provide entertainment that transcends time. The availability of complete seasons on DVD allows for uninterrupted viewing free from commercial interruptions. In summary, with its unique casting evolution, memorable theme song, and timeless humor, the show remains a significant contributor to 70s sitcom history. Its ability to balance comedic elements with poignant moments has solidified its status as a classic in the television landscape. Fred Sanford, the central character in the show, found inspiration for his name from his own family, specifically his brother. 
this familial connection adds a personal touch to the character, showcasing the show's roots in real-life relationships. A noteworthy transformation unfolds in Lehmann's character throughout the series. Initially depicted as hostile and resentful towards his father and the life dictated by unforeseen interference, Lehmann undergoes a significant shift. Moving past the second season, the once angry Lehmann gives way to a more supportive and moralistic persona, evolving in his attitudes towards work, his father, and his future. An enduring comedic element of the series involves Fred's theatrical response to Lehmann's threats of leaving or when things don't go as planned. Fred's fake heart attacks, accompanied by his signature line, became a running gag. Tragically, this gag would later be linked to Red Fox's real-life demise as he succumbed to a heart attack while filming another project, The Royal Family. The irony of life imitating art adds a somber note to the show's legacy. In Season 2, Episode 21, titled Home Sweet Home for the Aged, a brief glimpse of a photograph of Elizabeth Sanford on Fred's nightstand at the nursing home marks a rare moment in the series. This episode reveals a pivotal casting shift, where Cleavon Little's prior commitments led to the recommendation of Red Fox for the role of Fred Sanford and Demon Wilson as Lamont. This change shaped the memorable performances that followed. The series is enriched by Quincy Jones' defining theme song, known as The Street Beater. Seamlessly integrated with the narrative, the music enhances the overall viewing experience, contributing to the timeless charm of the 70s sitcom. In summary, Sanford and Son, with its roots in familial inspiration, character transformations, and ironic real-life connections, remains a significant chapter in television history. The show's ability to balance humor with poignant moments, coupled with memorable performances and music, solidifies its status as a classic. Fred Sanford, the central character, drew inspiration for his name from his own family, particularly his brother. This personal touch reflects the show's roots in real-life relationships. Lamont, initially depicted as hostile and resentful towards his father and the dictated life, undergoes a notable transformation as the series progresses. Beyond the second season, the once angry Lamont evolves into a more supportive and moralistic persona, reshaping his attitudes towards work, his father, and his future. The enduring comedic element involves Fred's theatrical response to Lamont's threats of leaving or when plans go awry. Fred's fake heart attacks, punctuated by his signature line, became a recurring gag. Tragically, this comedic element would later be linked to Red Fox's real-life demise, succumbing to a heart attack while filming another project, The Royal Family. The irony of life imitating art adds a somber note to the show's legacy. In Season 2, Episode 21, titled Home Sweet Home for the Aged, a brief glimpse of a photograph of Elizabeth Sanford on Fred's nightstand at the nursing home marks a rare moment in the series. This episode unveils a pivotal casting shift, where Cleavon Little's prior commitments led to the recommendation of Red Fox for the role of Fred Sanford and Demond Wilson as Lamont. This change shaped the memorable performances that followed, Quincy Jones' defining theme song, known as The Street Beater, seamlessly integrates with the narrative, enhancing the overall viewing experience. This musical contribution adds to the timeless charm of the 70s sitcom. In summary, Sanford and Son, rooted in familial inspiration, showcases character transformations and has ironic real-life connections, marking a significant chapter in television history. The show's ability to balance humor with poignant moments, coupled with memorable performances and music, solidifies its status as a classic in the television landscape.